All right, it's time for the Cybertruck Roundup. Yeehaw! The Cybertruck Roundup. So, remember this post from Tesla AI less than just a month ago? Hi, Mandy! Oh, hi, Mandy! Yep. Well, it appears that Tesla has done everything on the September list. Cybertruck now has FSD. And Cybertruck posted... I know driving. As Ashok Alaswamy, head of Tesla AI, posted, great job by the Tesla AI team on meeting the goals laid out for September. End-to-end -end on the highway is first shipping to Cybertrucks. We are close to an early release build for remaining platforms and will release to internal employees in the next week or so. And Elon said, nice work. So just to be clear, these goals for September, which honestly... I thought would be almost impossible to achieve in that time frame, they have achieved them. Wow. Now there's these two little goals here that you might have remembered for October. Unpark, park, and reverse in full self-driving, and then version 13 with a 6x improved miles between necessary interventions. So I don't think people realize how big this version 13 is going to be. If it does indeed have 6x improved miles between necessary interventions, the average miles per intervention now that's being tracked on teslafsdtracker.com is 255 miles. So that means that the average person on FSD can go 255 miles before they have to intervene. If version 13 can get that up by 6x, that would be one intervention every 1,500 miles or halfway across the United States. And I want to remind everybody, an intervention doesn't necessarily mean that you took it out because it was going to crash. You might just take it out because it did something that you wouldn't have done or that you felt was a little bit uncomfortable. So I just got to say, if I drove halfway across the country, I probably would do at least one thing that other people would find uncomfortable. And if you're in Japan and want to experience Cybertruck, Tesla Japan posted, see you in Fukuoka. Cybertruck has already visited Tokyo. Now Cybertruck is already in Fukuoka and will be there until October 4th. Don't forget to send us your pictures. Yeah. And as Hurricane Helene hit Florida, many people were hit hard. That's bad. Yeah. Some Cybertruck owners, though, were putting their trucks into wade mode. So this uses the Cybertruck's air suspension pumps to pressurize the battery pack so that it can drive through water up to 31 inches deep for half an hour. Yeah, that's awesome. Check out this video posted by James Pettis. He says, yes, we got a Cybertruck driving out in the outer bands of Helene. Classic Florida moment. Don Browning posted the storm has passed through central Florida. Cybertruck pushes through the puddles with ease. And that's not the only way to use a Cybertruck during a hurricane. George Awad posted, my entire neighborhood lost power and just for me was able to have my entire house on this is priceless. I think Foundation Series is worth every penny. And I think a lot of people were like, Foundation Series Cybertruck, that's an extra 20,000 bucks. That's way too much. But remember, you do get full self-driving for life and the power share hookup. So you can use the Cybertruck like George did as a huge battery backup. And that's like getting like 10 power walls that power your house. Dudley shared this video of the Tesla owner's Florida 2024 Cyberfest in Ocala, Florida. And I think I counted like 48 Cybertrucks, but I probably missed a few. So count them and let us know down in the comments how many you counted. And as we reported last week was going to happen, Tesla has started deliveries in Mexico last week. Tesla North America says first Cybertruck deliveries in Mexico. And Cybertruck posted, hello, I'm here. So Mexico is now the second country that Cybertruck is available in. Tesla delivered the first 10 Cybertrucks in Mexico and hopefully will start delivering more soon. I don't know how many Cybertruck vehicles were delivered. Uh, 10,000? We don't have the exact overall delivery numbers of the Cybertruck, but there are estimated to be about 20,000 Cybertrucks delivered so far. No way! And thank you to Cybertruck Owners Club for sponsoring this part of the show. If you want to find out about these stories and a whole lot more, head on over to Cybertruck Owners Club. There you're going to find tons of great posts from people who are testing Cybertruck with towing and with wade mode and all that great data. And if you're waiting for your Cybertruck, don't forget to check their reservation tracker that'll help you figure out when you're getting yours. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching Now You Know Clips. You can watch full episodes of Tesla Time News on Tuesdays and in-depths on Fridays. Just click the link down below and head over to the Now You Know channel.